Hello there my fellow Holotable Heroes and welcome to another RNG challenge. Today we'll have to test our RNG on the planet of Bespin. Now Bespin was an immense gas giant located in a desolate sector of the galaxy. It had two moons and its gases mass contained a very thin stratum of habitable atmosphere above a surface of a very rare and costly Tibana gas and there was actually no habitable land uh, or water on the planet surface itself. And this one we're going up against a squad of bounty hunters and we have to use first order. Obviously if you do have Supreme Leader Kylo Ren, do go ahead and use it and smash those fools. You'll complete this without any issues. But for those that do not have Supreme Leader Kylo Ren, I'll show you what kind of first order team I used here to be able to complete uh, the, all the feats here and get max rewards. So as always I'll cover the modifiers, feats and I'll show you two battles here. Uh, so first one will be the first order and then another one will be with CLS and Malak to complete the final feat. So if you're not interested uh, in all the details you can just skip through straight through to the battles using YouTube chapters below as always. But otherwise let's just get started. First looking at the global modifier. Um, so here we have Decadence. Now the most thing you will notice is the reduced 15% accuracy that everybody will get. So they believe a about Dodge Fest going on there. So this is the first here piece of RNG. Like you can have everything planned out, but then if enemy dodges more than you do, you might be in trouble because you won't be able to get your uh, Terminator train kind of going. But anyway, on top of that, uh, you do get uh, some stacking uh, buff collected well, but it's like whatever. I mean... To be honest, I didn't really notice anyone particularly stacking a lot of this uh, buff on there. Mostly I noticed the accuracy reduction, which will result in, you know, dodge here and there. Then Blind Fury uh, for First Order, what will happen is you won't be able to critically hit unless you have advantage. And whenever you do, you then get stacking critical damage and things like that. So as the battle progresses a little bit, your guys will stop start ramping up their damage uh, but you know nothing too crazy here will come out of this modifier now the enemy modifier they will start each uh, with nine stacks of true defense so they'll be very tanky to begin with but as soon as you get a true defense of them you should be able to a little bit start putting some hits on them one thing to note if they do get a contra truck going they will get frenzy for one turn so you definitely don't want them um, they're getting their contract and then their payout triggered because then you will be in trouble so let's have a look at the feats uh, we need to complete uh, into today's uh, challenge um, so we have to win with a full squad of first order units you have to win after taking eight turns in a row i didn't really have issue with this one with first order just because you know you're taking so many turns you you get your turn meter trade going uh, so the only one that i was forced then to do in another battle is because you have to win with at least one light side and one dark side character surviving. I guess lots of options there. So you can just pick whichever you know suits you. Uh, but anyway, let's just now show you the team that I'll be taking in. All right, so I decided to go with Color and Mask lead here uh, just because that plus 30 speed that his leadership provides, it helps you to keep up with plus 30 speed that bounty hunters will have due to jungle lead. And no matter how fast I made my hugs, I put my best speed set on him. I think he was around 318 speed and was still not able to outrun enemy Django. So just kind of accept that Django will go first and a little bit remodded the rest of the team just to kind of, you know, follow up Django there with certain moves, which obviously I'll show you in the battle. So definitely make note of speeds now when I'm showing you in the mods. Now here, Kylo's lead on top of plus 30 speed, we're also getting extra critical damage and most importantly, whenever we do critically hit, uh, we'll be getting 20% turn meter, which will help us a little bit here to keep our turn meter train going. His Holtz ability here is very important, it stands for two turns and cannot be resisted and because you will want to keep these bounty hunters under control as much as you can with the stuns because if, if they get going before you know it they'll be one shotting your guys and then his basic attack as well important to know you can apply tenacity down on the enemy target so they won't be able to resist for example when you use a pinning shot from first order officer um, that you know can then boost their meter as well uh, okay there we go so that's kylo as mentioned before i made him very fast at 299 because i want him to get a quick stun out right in beginning of the battle uh, so we can keep this guy under control then Hux, uh, looking at his abilities, Oppressive Fire, it's a very good ability. So what will happen is, um, 
if a Hux has advantage, he will dispel buffs from all the enemies and then he will call everybody to assist, which is pretty good because their grief will start in stealth, so we will be able to, you know, straight away get him out of stealth grief and then target him uh, at some point because grief, if he cleanses and dispels, you know, puts retribution up, could be, uh, you could be in trouble very, very quick. And then looking at another ability here from Hux, which is very important, is Devious Scheme. So for this one, the most important part of this ability really is that you are able to reset cooldowns on the target ally if Hux has advantage. So we were able to, you know, quickly get back to our special abilities and Hux's speed there is at 308. Again, please do make note of speeds here because they will be important. Kylo Ren, obviously you want to keep spamming his AoE as much as you can to keep fueling turn meter to your team. And then his Outrage ability can stun as well, so you know, you can utilize that to keep uh, control on Bounty Hunters. I have him modded for speed there at 271, but I did put Offense set on him just to boost his offense. So hopefully his AoE, when we keep spamming it, you know, we can do some nice damage uh, on those Bounty Hunters. Then First Order Officer, a very key component here as well, because this ability here obviously gives turn meter to somebody, dispels debuffs, and then also will apply advantage because then you know if you do have advantage you can critically hit if it's Hux he can reset cooldown so this is a very key ability and also grants tenacity up and offense up you know will give it a little bit further boost there as well and then his spinning shot is very powerful ability as well uh, because uh, it will uh, reduce cooldowns uh, of first order allies so again allow you to very quickly get back to, to using special ability especially with Hux and uh, Kylo Ren unmasked and if any turn meter was removed with this ability then everybody will get 15% turn meter so whenever you use spinning shots definitely try to target one of the enemies that you have tenacity down just to make sure uh, you have a better chance of reducing the turn meter and you gaining turn meter uh, in return uh, that's why here I modded actually first order officer for potency because you know landing that turn meter removal from spinning shot is very crucial in many cases and also note his speed at 281, uh, you want him to be fairly quick as well. Sith Trooper, he's got this neat ability here that will dispel uh, all the debuffs uh, on your first order allies and then grant them advantage. So this is very useful because Django there will start off with a burn and while you have burning you cannot gain bonus turn meter. And therefore I basically modded my Sith Trooper to be the fastest on my team. So I was not able to outrun Django to stun him. So there is no way of getting around it. So he'll apply burning and then Sith Trooper will go uh, straight after him, cleanse the burning off and then you'll be able to start getting a bonus turn meter from all your various abilities that you have with First Order. So that's what I wanted to, to show you the turn order here. You want Sith Trooper to be the fastest and then Hux uh, then uh, Kalo, then First Order Officer, and finally OG Kalo, his speed doesn't really matter as much. Alright, let's hop in the battle and let me talk you through it, just to see how this one goes. As mentioned before, Django in most cases will start off with a burning. While we have burning, we cannot gain bonus turn meter, that's why you want to cleanse off their receive trooper first. And then, uh, let's go ahead, uh, dispel their uh, grief from stealth. Now you want to stun Bosk so he can't taunt. Now you will pass turn over to Hux. And then Hux can go ahead and reset cooldowns on Kylo. So then we can get another stun out. Get a stun on Boba so he doesn't give a, do ability blocks on you. Then I will use special ability here from the other Kylo to, to also stun Django. Okay, there we go. Perfect. So we kind of have under control them for the time being here. Um, so I'm just targeting Boba there. Just try to put some hits on him. See, I'm no notice that I'm trying to target uh, the stunned enemies to make sure they don't evade. There we go. Pinning shot, reduce turn meter, which boosts turn meter to us as well. Because if they evade, obviously we can't get those bonuses and things like that. There we go. We can again uh, reset cooldowns on Kylo for another stun there on Django. So we got these guys quite under control here. See if we can get a stun on Boba. No stun because he didn't have tenacity down. There we go. Pass turn over Hux. Another mass attack there on Grief. Smash an AoE here. There goes Boba number one. Uh, make sure to target somebody with debuffs so that Kylo Unmask maintains uh, there his taunt. Here, just keep boosting Termita to your team. Going after Grief now. Ah, uh, he got a lucky dodge there. 
All right, there we go. Took care of Grief so he doesn't dispel and things like that. Another pinning shot, push back Termitor on Django. Then we can do another stun on Hux over there. Okay, here comes an AoE from Boba. Counter attacks doing good work here. Almost got him out. Ah, that evasion there. Uh, no advantage on Hux actually, so he won't be able to reset cooldowns on Kylo. So instead, uh, what I will do is actually use Mass Assist here. Perfect. And now we got advantage on Hux, so let's give turn meter back to Hux. He can go ahead, reset cooldowns on Kylo. We can get another stun then on Mandalorian. Uh, let's get advantage again here up uh, with Sith Trooper. Get Boba out. <sighs> Gosh, he dodged. All right, Boba's finally gone. Push back turn meter there with Django with pinning shot. Uh, here we go, more turn meter here. Uh, again, you have advantage on Hugs, so he can go ahead and reset cooldowns on Kylo and Mask. So we got everybody stun locked now. Perfect. Another turn for Hugs. So you can see, you know, that synergy between uh, Hugs and First Order Officer. Uh, First Order Officer there reduces cooldowns, passes their meter back then to Hugs. Hugs resets uh, Kylo, and you know, it's pretty much kind of <laughs> loop here. There we go. Another turn. Another reset cooldowns, so pretty much you've got these guys now stun locked um, for the rest of the battle. So just need to finish them off, and you should be good to go from here. But as I mentioned before, you know, you probably need a few battles here just to uh, align RNG, but as long as you've got this kind of starting sequence, where it's uh, Sith Trooper is the fastest, so he can cleanse all that burning from Django, uh, and then you can start gaining uh, turn meter and everything. Now, you know, you can also give it a go. Sometimes Django will use his basic to begin with. Sometimes he will use his big rocket head. Um, so you can then see if that will work better. But, you know, in most cases he will use burning. That's why I'm showing you this kind of starting sequence. And this team now completed, obviously, the full first order. Uh, their feet as well as eight turns in a row. So we've got only one more feat to go. Now this one, you've got a lot of options. You can use any sort of team as long as, you know, you have at least one dark side or one light side character. I just went with CLS here uh, and Malak, because, you know, why not? Obviously, you want to stun Django, because, again, if he gets burning on your guys, they won't be able to gain bonus turn meter. Then going after Grief next, because, you know, he can dispel, call everybody to assist. So I just want to make sure I keep him under control. He resisted there my stun, even with tenacity down. Cheeky one, Grief, this one. All right, there we go. Here comes burning, so as long as we have now burning, we can't gain bonus turn meter, which is a little bit unfortunate, but Silas, he himself can cleanse that off. Um, and that's why I brought in Malak, you know, just to put fear on these guys a little bit, so that they can miss a turn here and there, uh, while my guys can recover a little bit. Uh, right, now let's drain Django there. There we go, put blind wherever we can. Uh, just finning, uh, finishing off Django here, number one, going after... Uh, Han here, all right, okay, yep, there we go, smash an AoE, come on, get Jango out, oh, almost got him, big AoE coming in from 3PO and Chewie, there we go, just take care of Boba, and this is uh, pretty much in the bag now, so there we go, fear again on Boba, so he won't do much, just finish off here, Bosk, and this will give us now, finally, uh, max rewards here in today's uh, galactic RNG fest. Um, there is some RNG involved in this one, but not nearly as much as I would say <laughs> in the Friday's challenge where we had to use, you know, Old Republic. But still, you know, it took a few tries uh, for RNG to line up there uh, with that team. As I mentioned in the beginning, if you do have Supreme Leader Kaloran, by all means, please do use him. It'll make this a lot easier. But for those of you that do not have Supreme Leader Kaloran yet, you can still pull it off here with color and mask as I've shown you in this video. Alright guys, thank you for watching. I hope you find this video useful and helpful. Let me know in the comments below or on my Discord server. But until then, have fun, enjoy your life and may the RNG be with you my friends.